coming up. Uh, most people know this. I haven't turned on my oven in <clears throat> about 12 years. I found a cobweb in it last year. Uh, but cookbook author Erica Schlick has, in fact, and she has a recipe that even I could follow. Who wrote that? For Patagonia lamb. <laughs> Roasting a leg of lamb is a delicious way to cook your meat, but it's going to take about three hours to get the meat cooked and nice and tender. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple hack that's going to cut that cooking time down to 20 minutes or less, and you're going to have the opportunity to have a delicious zesty herb crust on all your meat. And that hack is a butterflied lamb leg. And what that means is that the bone has just been removed and the meat has been cut thinly, so it's about an inch thick, and it cuts down your cooking time, and this is something that your butcher can help you with, or you can also cut it yourself and in order to start we're gonna get started with our herb crust that we're gonna put on top of the meat and so I have half a cup of extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna add two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice and I have the zest from the same lemon that I got my juice from and you can either use fresh garlic or you can use a teaspoon of garlic powder you can use a teaspoon of onion powder and some sea salt. And I like to use about a teaspoon as well just because I like my food a little extra salty. And we're gonna go ahead and just use a whisk to stir this together. And now we're gonna add in our herbs. So I have one bunch of fresh parsley that's been chopped and I use my food processor just to make it easy and chop it. And I have four tablespoons of fresh rosemary that has also been chopped. And I have three tablespoons of fresh thyme from my garden that I also destemmed and chopped as well. So now that's about it. We're just going to go ahead and get this combined with our olive oil. And I start with half a cup. You can always use a little bit more, but you don't want it to be too, too oily because we really want this to have more of a crust consistency so it sits on top of our meat. And so I always have some just on hand just in case I want to add some, but I think we're pretty good today. And I'm not going to be adding any more. And that's it. Our herb is just mixed together. And now we can go ahead and place it on our lamb leg. And I've got this prepared in a baking dish. And I prefer to use a ceramic baking dish just so that the meat cooks evenly in it. And we'll go ahead and pour our herb crust on top. And I like to use just a simple rub uh, silicone or rubber spatula just to press the herb mixture on the top. And it's okay if a little bit of the oil goes around the meat. It'll just help the meat cook. And that is it. We're going to go ahead and put this in the oven. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're going to cook this for about 15 minutes and then we're going to check the temperature on it. And once the temperature reaches 135 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when you want to pull it out because it's going to let it rest and you're going to let it cook for the last few minutes. And if it's not quite at 135 when you check it, I recommend checking it every five minutes because like I said, this is a simple hack that cooks your meat so quickly. So let's go ahead and pop this in the oven, get it roasted, and then we'll talk about delicious sides that go with it. And our lamb is out of the oven and it cooked for 20 minutes to 135 degrees and it's absolutely perfect. And what I really love about this cut is that you're gonna be able to find whatever your favorite temperature meat is in this. You're gonna have your thicker pieces that are gonna be a little bit more medium rare and your thinner pieces that are gonna be more well done. So everyone's gonna get their favorite piece of meat in this cut, there's no way around it. And let's talk about tasty sides. Unless you're on the carnivore diet, which is very big right now, you're gonna want some tasty vegetables to go with this. And so I always recommend either doing my roasted rosemary potatoes that are in my cookbook or I have a recipe on my blog for roasted tahini carrots with a little bit of cardamom and you can actually roast those vegetables at the same time you're doing your meat so it comes together very easy and if you want to do something a little lighter a little simpler you can always do a simple green salad with this as well which pairs perfectly with the meat so let's go ahead and do a little taste test to see how this turned out mmm so good the flavor of the lamb, with the citrus of the herbs, and the citrus and the zest and the lemon zest that's in there. It's so good. You're gonna absolutely love this dish. It comes together so simple. And you can get the recipe in my cookbook, Wandering Palette, which is available on my website and Amazon as well. Made Me, come home to clean. Visit mademe.pro to schedule your Made Me cleaning today.